Hello, welcome to Review for the North. I'm Terry A. Abbott. It is the 17th of December. Yesterday we were talking about the Labour leadership. Last night, new developments arose because we didn't know what the position of two of the contenders were. Those two being Rebecca Long Bailey and Angela Rayner. It now turns out that Angela Rayner wants to stand for deputy leader, allowing Rebecca Long Bailey to have a tilt at the leadership. Now, whether or not two women can run the Labour Party, I don't see why not, but two women from the left leading the Labour Party, both Rebecca and Angela, are from the more Jeremy Corbynish side of the Labour Party. Maybe somebody centralist may would be a better choice. Maybe a Lisa Nandy, a Keir Starmer, someone of that ilk to lead the party. I just don't think that it's going to do us much good with two left-leaning people again. Uh, I think we've got to basically look outward to what the general public want, not just what is fit for the Labour Party. So more centralist leader who can pull in voters who would normally vote Liberal Democrat or soft Conservative who may be finding the Conservatives getting too right-wing are not happy with the Liberal Democrats the way they are and want something that is more akin to what they believe. A lot of the policies that Labour have are good policies. Some of them were pie-in-the-sky policies. They need to go back, root and branch change, and then find out what they need. Meanwhile, the government are wanting to put a new clause into the Brexit bill. And they want to rule out any extension to the transition period beyond the end of next year. Now, the post-Brexit transition period, due to conclude in December 2020, can currently be extended by mutual agreement for up to two years. I'm reading what it says on here. But they want to put an amendment into the withdrawal bill, which would, which, uh, would rule out any extension. Now, during this time, we have got to make a trade deal with the EU. And what they are saying is, no buts, whatever, we will leave December 2020 with or without a, tra a trade agreement with the EU. We've done the Brexit agreement, but the trade agreement is a separate item. Brexit is not done. It's not going away quite yet. So to come out with this would, would actually put us into no deal territory again and have us back on WTO rules, which, quite frankly, for this country would be an absolute disaster. Meanwhile, Grant Shapps has said that uh, the government are thinking of outlawing strike action on the railways. This is to um, protect the general public from strikes and the problem with strikes they have when transport workers go on strike to protect the people who are travelling on the trains, protect their safety by you know making sure there's a guard on the train. People quite like having a guard there, it makes them feel a bit safer in the evening to have somebody else on the train with them, rather than travelling alone at the mercy of whatever person decides to get onto the train. Government have always wanted to cut the ability of people to strike. This has always been one of the government's keenest policies. Come down against strikes. Cut your rights. Reducing your right to strike. If they get away with it with the transport workers, they will come after everybody. Okay, if you like what we do, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can visit the website on www.citylife2050.com. That's where the graphic novel Sea Life 2050 exists. Currently, The Great Civil War Part 9 is now up and available. If you like what we do, you can support us through Patreon. That supports the website, the graphic novel, and this channel. Until next time, have a great one. Bye-bye.